Hey guys, I'm Yago Leal with Sin System, and in today's video we are going to discuss about T-tools, where to use them, why do we need to use T-tools, and in this video we are going to use some of the models provided by Dynamic Abutment and also Dynamic Abutment T-tools. So thank you Dynamic Abutment for providing this material for us to be able to record and show about the T-tools. So there are two situations where we need to use a T-tool. The first one and the more common one is when we have an angle screw channel like this one, where it's physically impossible for us to properly mute that screw seat from the top because of the angle channel. So imagine that this is our ball tool. This is a screwdriver, but let's imagine that this is a ball tool. So it is physically impossible for these two to mute certain areas from the top because of the collision control with the angle channel here. So in order to be able to mute properly that screw seat, we need to have a T2 that has a T-shape and we can use these two to access that area from the interface side and properly mute that screw seat and that area there. And the second situation where we need to use a T2 as well is if, by the way, our screw channel is too long and our regular tools cannot access that from the top side. So we need to use a T2 as well to finish the rest of the material that that tool left behind from the interface side. So those are the two situations where we can use a T2. So now we are going to mill this case here using millbox. And I will show you where you can activate a T2 for you, what you need to do and what the two path looks like. And then we are going to mute this case here. Okay, so here in Millbox, we are at the strategy editor area and we have a group called T2, where we have T2's operations here. We have a cleaning for the T2. So this operation, whenever we are using a T2 operation, we need to first clean the channel before using the T2. And then we have other two operations with several diameters uh, range. So we have a roughing with a T2 and a finishing with a T2 as well. And as you can see here, we have our tools already assigned depending on the diameter of our tool. So all we have to do is to have our tool properly defined at the software and assign it here. So we already have the majority of the T2s available on the market. And if by the way, you don't have the T2 available for you, you can ask your dealer or SIN systems for help in order to activate the T2 for you. Once we have the T2 already assigned into those operations for us, it is going to mute those channels whenever we have an angled case. So in this case here, for example, this is our STL file. So I'm going to hide the STL file and I'm going to show you the model that we are milling. So this is the actual model that we are milling. And as you can see here, the channel part and as well, the screw seat is not fully milled yet. So the T2 is going to get inside of this area from the interface side. And it is going to properly mill this channel and as well the screw seat, as we can see here. Okay, now that we already have this part calculated at Millbox, let's run this file at the machine. Alright, thank you for watching this video. 
And if you need help setting your T2 on your mailbox software, feel free to contact your dealer or SIM system in order to do that. Thank you. Ciao.